Hello, this is Blue. Today I would like to show you some of my tools. Now, one of the problems that a lot of pagans see is there is a misunderstanding about tools. Basically, now tools are an extension of yourself. A tool does not make you, you make the tool. Okay? So going to a store and buying this, you know, hundred dollar wand isn't going to make you a better mage or wizard or witch. No, it's just a pretty wand. Okay. Now for me, everything that I work with, I try to make myself or I try to personalize it. Uh, one of the first things that I made is my staff, which is right here. Now I made this at a willow, and it's half spark, half clear, and I got wrapped where I usually put my hands. Um, this is what I feel comfortable with. It just feels wonderful. So I can put my hand here as I walk, and I can just enjoy the world around me as I walk with my staff. Okay. I have many things here. This is my sword. One thing that I am also very proud of. And this is a sword that I bought. I took off the old hilt and I replaced it. Um, this is an actual piece of wood straight off of a tree. I bored it and I put this on. And so this is a unique sword. This is my sword. And it makes me feel good. I've also made my edible. Now this is a the short sword from a katana set. Um, I stripped the plastic handle and I made a new handle out of birch. But then I took an old piece of copper pipe and I cut it and pounded it into the shape that it's in now. This fits perfectly in my hand. It feels like it's a part of me. And that's what tools should feel like. Like I said, you should not go out there and buy $50 wand. This is my wand. As you can see, it's just a simple piece of wood with a quartz tip, decorated. My witch name is Blue, and that's why I put a lot of blue on my tools. This is a blue sodalite heart on there. It's supposed to calm the emotions. I'm an emotional person, so I think I need all the help I can get. In my right hand, because of this little notch right here, it feels good. It just feels like it's a part of me. One of the harder things to buy is your representation of water. Yes, you can buy this fancy glass and all that, but that is very hard to deal with when you're doing outside rituals, as I will be doing. So I bought myself this old, um, basically, glass container with a pop tail lid on it. Oh, yes. And inside of it is mead. I make my own mead. And I use my mead for religious purposes when I have my rituals. Salute. Now what I did to personalize this, I took a piece of copper and I put an a win on it, and that's what's chained around the bottle. Right here, I'll bring this a little closer, is a dragon, because my full witch name is Blue Sage Dragon. The bottle's blue, and there's the dragon, and I try to be fairly ed educated. The last item on my tools is my hammer. If 
This is a rebuilt three pound sledgehammer. Why would I need this? This is not a representation for Thor. Um, when I do outside rituals, I believe you're dealing with more raw elements, and sometimes you have to be a lot stronger and kind of offensive compared to defensive, which I think the pentacle is. And so this is my more offensive earth tool, my hammer. Again, this is a birch shaft, three pound head. It is wrapped with leather and a handle. The head itself is painted with green and black. The green representing the trees, the black representing the soil. A perfect representation of earth. Now, not everybody is creative, has the space to build things, and so you got to do what you can. Now, like I said, I, I try to build all my tools, but you also have to play it safe. Fire is very dangerous, and I buy candles, like the little tea light candles. I also bought an old kerosene lamp, and that is what I use represent fire because it's just plain safe okay remember we have to be safe first that's why my hammer handle is birch it's a good hardwood okay so remember if you want tools great if you can make them for yourselves first put your energy into them. make them your tools but also remember that tools are only an extension of who you 